I always thought I was a regular guy. But then, I don't know. Went inside when the girls woke up and I said, hey babe, we're getting married. And uh, she said no. So I said, well, look, I'm marrying somebody today because I got a lot of flowers. So I'm building the wedding and if you show up, I'll marry you. And if you don't show up, I'm gonna marry my truck. You find yourself sitting here building a uh, jump out of flowers. We'll see who it's going to be here shortly. I can put a thousand of these bales in here and I pack it full hoping that in the spring I can sell them. And that's how I made my money my whole life. Not this year. What's the actual plant name? This is Kwanzan cherry, ornamental flowering cherry. I get it out of people's backyards and front yards and side yards. Sometimes I ask permission. And I got all this free wood. She's a little rickety. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall on anybody. We up to what's today today's my wedding day why well some people spend uh well they decide to get married and then they gotta ask permission they have to ask somebody's parents permission and it's this whole big ordeal that takes months or years to plan people spend their whole half their life planning the wedding they're gonna die before they get it done then it's this big deal then next thing you know a year later they usually end because they try too hard. Well, I try a lot harder than anybody else, but I do things a little bit differently. I woke up this morning, I put the monster truck tires on my old, old power wagon. I got up this morning and I put them old t monster truck tires on and uh, and I decided I'm gonna get married today. So I asked her, she said no. I told her to piss off. If she doesn't wanna marry me, I'll marry my truck. Right, she's been old faithful. So I'm gonna marry somebody today. I'm either gonna marry the mother of my kids or I'm gonna marry my truck, one or the other, and I can't lose. What I do for money, unfortunately, uh, is not a thing for money anymore because everybody's scared and panicked and nobody, parties are against the law, weddings are against the law, and what I do for money, I climb trees and uh, I stockpile ornamental branches in my cooler. I've got a big walk-in cooler I built and I pile up these branches in the winter. I work all winter and I expect to get paid in the spring when people are getting married. Well, since weddings are illegal and parties are illegal and restaurants are against the law, I've just got a big pile of sticks that I worked really hard to cut and paid a lot of money to keep them cool and keep them dormant. And finally it's June and they popped out and blossom. They're ready for a wedding and weddings are still against the law. So I'm gonna have one. How much would all this cost you if you had it done? Cost? If you you sold this stuff? That cost, cost me four months of work. It's four months of work and I'm gonna run it over. And maybe you're gonna run it over. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> well, four we months say. of hard work for nothing. I've gotta clean that cooler out and throw all this stuff in the garbage. The way I figure I might as well have some fun and get a little entertainment out of it. about 10 of them off of a good tree. So I put a thousand in there, that means there's a hundred trees that cut in there. Probably more than that. It takes them about six years to grow back. That means I need about 600 trees. I have some every year. I'm pretty good at all that. What I do for a living is I climb trees, I'm a specialist, and what I specialize in is finding the things that decorators in New York City want to decorate their parties with. So I'm real good at finding stuff that's hard to find or not easy to find or impossible to find. I'm the guy that can find it and I bring the wild nature to the city and they decorate. Big stuff, bigger the better, I don't care what it is, I'm not scared to work hard. And I'm honest, so I've done good and made a living for myself and fed my family. 
Now this year, parties are illegal. Parties are illegal, weddings are illegal, restaurants are illegal. So I 100% lost everything I did. I work all winter and stock my cooler up so that I can have stuff dormant to sell for wedding season, stuff that would have already opened on the tree in April. I'll have it in May and June. And it's like putting money in the bank for me, it always has been. Well, this year I, I did all the work in the winter. Spring came and the government shut everybody down. So now I got a big pile of stuff to throw away. Well, I figured why not use this stuff that I got to throw away anyway and have some fun with it and entertain myself and entertain the people around me. And at the same time, I'll have my wedding. Whoa, nice car, man. Is anything you ever do easy? Buddy, I'm the dumbest person alive. I have not done a single easy thing in my entire life. I know people, I know people that I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I know any of those people. I always thought I was a regular guy. But then, I don't know. You find yourself sitting here building a, uh jump out of flowers. Listen, bud, you gotta work with what you got. You know? This is what this is I've good, got. It was a good choice. What, uh... <laughs> it's snowing what, on you. What I do... That's just a sign of wasted time. This is, uh... We got like 45 minutes left. I just had to stop working because the sun's gonna go down and we don't want to ruin our shot. And, uh... I'm gonna start inviting people now. <laughs> Hey, remember me? You want to come to my wedding? It's in five minutes. See, anybody else I want to invite? So far, I've invited one person. You're here. <laughs> For anybody that can hear this, oh, go. welcome to order. Welcome. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. We get married in ten minutes. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye. No. Uh, attention, everybody. Time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Don't have a cow. Come on over. Time for a hoedown. Everybody hoedown time. We're gonna have a hoedown. Time for a hoedown now. Bring your dancing shoes. There he is. All right, ring bearer. Bring us the rings. Please don't be serious. <laughs> Which is don't for me. Don't get serious. I can't. It, there's an alligator claw on it. There you go. And this is for you. And, and the last <laughs> one. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't afford a ring, but I got one. No. Oh, Digger has the ring. This is what I did to you. Stop, you pervert. <laughs> There's flowers all over the ground, by the way. Yeah! Show the people. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss, sweetheart. <laughs> I decided this morning that I was going to get married and I did it. <laughs> I fell in love with your mommy. <laughs> and I told her if she didn't marry me, I'd marry my truck. And here I am. The luckiest guy in the world. Now let's crash it! Yeah! Crash it! Crash it! Crash it! Crash it! Woo! We want to see you drive. Okay. Do it. How do I stop? Doesn't have brakes. Will you be okay? Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. 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 I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, we decided you're going to be the one driving the monster. Do I have to wear this dress and do it? <laughs> when was this a plan? Stop. How do I stop? Turn it off. So what are you doing, Mackenzie? A 
apparently I just got married and now I'm supposed to crush my ceremony with Jimmy's monster truck. Have you ever driven a monster truck before? No, I've never even Why ridden in it with him. Today's the day. <laughs> it's today's the big, big day. Today's a big day for me. <laughs> It might not make for a good video because I'm not going to like go balls to the wall. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even have a helmet. What if it like flips over or something? Dennis Anderson said he could drop this thing off the Empire State Building. Marcus Jordan!